Hello. You know what I was thinking about today, Cindy, was fear. Do you remember mm. they always used to say everything you want is right on the other side of fear. All you have to do is walk forward one tiny step at a time to achieve it. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? I, I always think about um, fear in connection to emotional resilience. You know, like being able to, when I'm fearful, I never want to take a step forward. I never want to try new things. I don't want to meet new people. And um, eventually that wears down on your emotional resilience and makes you feel isolated and um, sad. And so breaking through fear and like cutting the cord on fear really helps you be resilient in happiness. That's what I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, it's all true. And I think as you were talking, what popped into my mind was, you know, when I was younger, I really cared what other people thought about me. I, you know, mm -hmm. that the sun rose and set on whether I was liked or not. And, yeah. you know, the great thing about going older now that I'm in my, I don't give a crap decade, <laughs> you know, I realized that um, in loving myself is more important than pretty much anything. And so, and in loving myself, accepting myself, not judging myself, I'm not as frightened. And other things frighten me, like <laughs> falling down or, you know, <laughs> but I've taught myself to fall and get up gracefully. Um, I think that there are different kinds of fear. And as you get older, you still have fear, but it's just a completely different kind. And always the bottom line for me is about challenging myself by doing something outside of my comfort zone. I think mm. it keeps my fear muscle exercise. And I, I think that you feel the same way that being a lifelong learner is the thing that keeps us young. I, I really do. I think um, the whole idea of trying new things. First of all, we know that it re all, literally rewires your brain to learn new things. You know, it it creates new synapses. It fires your brain in a different way. So on a physical level, trying new things is important for good health. Um, but on an emotional level, trying new things and then being able to look back and go, well, I didn't know how to do that, but now I do. I didn't think I could do that than I did. That's the kind of resilience that I'm talking about. You, you, you give yourself a bucket of, of information about ways in which you've overcome uh, feeling sad or lonely or scared or hurt. Um, and because you have the, you, you know, you actually have the data now to tell you, you can do it. So, I think that trying new things is absolutely the key to keeping fear at bay. I mean, you, frankly, I don't think you can keep it at bay. Uh, I think it's going to pop its head up for you every now and then. But to be able to say to yourself, you know, if I look back, I have evidence that I have been able to do these hard things in the past and I can do these hard things in the future. I think that's it. You know, I, the, I, I, I look at my world uh, and I have gratitude for the fact that I I still have all, all the foibles and faults that I had when I was younger. You know, the fear of being liked, the fear of succeeding, fear of failing, fear of living, fear of dying, all of those. But instead of going off on a long journey with those feelings, I have yeah. them and I go, oh, I'm so afraid of, oh, but in the past, like you said, I've survived it. Yeah. I mean, there, there are so many wonderful things about aging. I know that it's not a very popular, although I think it's more popular now, but yeah. one of them is simply the experience. I am the sum as of you, are you of all the experiences of your life? And I know yeah. that uh, I know how much I've survived. I know how much you've survived. We're certainly strong and resilient. And um, that's important. And we're the women who are going to walk through our fear and 
learn something new, possibly how to play the harmonica and then, <laughs> uh, and then move right on. But or I, I how to haul believe that our luggage, how, how, yeah, how, how to haul our luggage how to pack onto light. <laughs> yeah. pack light so, I, at, so we can haul our luggage. But uh, <laughs> I think that it's still true that everything that we want is right on the other side of fear. And all you have to do is just walk through it yeah. and see what's on the other side. And it doesn't fear. hurt to have a good friend nope. to walk through it with you. I agree. A good friend is yeah. very important. What do you think? Let us know. We're always curious. Do you have a good friend who walks you through your fear? Do you still have fears? How do you let go of your fears? Let us know. Thanks. <laughs>